Hey everyone, so I want to do a quick video today on the Yeti 1000 portable power station. So let's head in the camper and check it out. So I originally bought this power station with the intention of it being my battery, charge controller, everything I needed for the camper. Um, but I ended up, if you know anything about me and my channel, I ended up bailing on my Toyota Sun Raider project and I bought this truck here and it already has a solar setup. So I am actually selling the Yeti 1000 today. But I wanted to do a quick video before I sell it and let you know why I love it and why I wish I kind of wasn't selling it, but why I need to. Well, first of all, let's take a look at some of the features. So as you can see, you've got a 1500 watt inverter. That means you can plug in anything, 1500 watt, 110 volt AC into these two little plugs here. We've also got four USB 2.4 amps, um, so that's sweet. To turn these all on, you just kind of push these buttons here. Anyways, all pretty self-explanatory. Um, you got your cigarette lighter here. Now the really cool thing is you can actually plug in solar panels into this unit, uh, directly into it. So this is a really unique unit. I'd say this is for somebody who doesn't want to buy a battery, buy a solar charge controller, buy an inverter, buy fuses, buy bus bars, buy wires, you know, connect it all, do all that. Um, you can essentially buy this unit, buy a solar panel, plug it in, hook everything up to this and, and you're done. Now let's price this out. So this thing retails for $12.99. Um, I bought it for $8.50 on an open box special, which I felt very fortunate because I'm actually selling it today for $8.50 as well. So I'm getting 100% of my money back, which is great. Um, you can get them now for about a thousand bucks online. So we're gonna we're gonna say the price is about a thousand because the price has come down, so it's about a thousand dollars. So let's price this out. So you're gonna get a deep cycle lithium battery. That's gonna cost you a couple hundred dollars. Let's say two fifty. All right. Now you're gonna get a solar charge controller. If you want a quality one, you're gonna go with an MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, the ePaver, one of the most popular ones on Amazon, is about 200 bucks. So you're at 450 already there. Um, this is very rough, by the way. It's about 450, $500. Then you still need a inverter. So you get your inverter, Spending a couple hundred dollars on that if you get a good sine wave 1500 watt inverter just like this one. Um, so there you go, 450, you're up to at least 650, $700. Plus, you got to do all the wiring. You're going to spend at least another hundred dollars in wires, connectors, bus bars, fuses, um, this and that. So let's say hypothetically you're up to about $800 which I could say, if you wanna build a quality solar system for your rig, you're gonna spend at least $800, I think. Um, well, you can get this for like a thousand and just plug a solar panel in. So I really think this is a great option. I've used it for a lot of different things. Um, I've used it to charge my phone, plug in my laptop. Um, one of the coolest things I used it for was the Hot Logic Mini. I'll show you, it's this, uh, this little oven here. I actually used this out at Joshua Tree to cook some pizza rolls. If you can't, if you remember from that video, mm, I smell pizza rolls. Mm, they're nice and hot. Oh yeah. Um, anyways, this thing gets like 400 degrees, and I plugged it right on into that bad boy, and boom, we're cooking. Really love the Yeti. I'll plug some things in and kind of show you how it works. So in the summertime, I like to carry this extra fan here. This is like a blower. It's actually meant to dry out carpets. Anyways, in the summertime, I like to carry this. It's a little bit broken. And I like to run it off of the Yeti. Woo! Oh yeah, running all off the Yeti. Works real well. That's one thing that I absolutely love about the Yeti that I don't think you're gonna find in other solar setups if you build them yourself is when you plug something in, it tells you how many hours it is to empty. So when it's turned on, for example, that number goes all the way down. You saw it go to about five hours to empty because um, it went for, it's at 60%. So that tells you, you can run this fan for five hours until you kill the battery. You can plug in your cell phone and that'll go down to four hours maybe. So it's, it's very user friendly. 
Another thing that the Yeti's great for is charging other batteries. So we can charge our drill batteries, for example. We can charge our drone batteries, charge our gimbal batteries, our camera batteries, really anything off of that. And then again, it tells you over here how many hours you've got and to charge this bad boy until it's empty. But the real thing that makes the Yeti a true contender for your electric off-grid system is that it'll run your fridge. So you might be asking, I've said so many good things, why am I selling the Yeti 1000? Well, the deal for me is I already have 125 amp hour battery. There's a 100 amp hour battery in this, so it's consider it's comparable. Um, I already have a 1000 watt inverter. I already have a solar charge controller. I've already got USB ports, cigarette lighters. I've got it all in the rig already. So this would just be backup. Better than backup, I like having one system that works. So I've decided to sell this and I'm just gonna make sure that my system's always working properly. Um, I might get a smaller battery bank for like charging my laptop and stuff. If I'm like at a Starbucks or, or you know, some spot that maybe doesn't have, um, you know, a charging port available, then maybe I'll get a smaller battery bank. But in my opinion, this one is too big for just using as on the side, using as your laptop or this and that. If you just want, if you already have a solar setup in your rig powering your fridge and all your main stuff, get something smaller than the Yeti 1000. It's a little bit big and a little bit cumbersome for those purposes. Well, thanks so much for watching my very quick review of the Yeti 1000 lithium portable power station. I think if you're someone who just wants to hit the road, you don't want to spend a lot of time doing a big build, and maybe you've never done solar or a lot of electrical work, first of all, you can learn. It's not that hard to build your own solar setup and where you don't have to go and buy a full unit like the Yeti. But at the same point, this will get you on the road sooner. If you just want power and you want something simple, buy a Yeti 1000, throw a solar panel on your roof and hit the road. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out more of my videos. I got tons of camper product videos coming, camper walkthroughs, um, and I'm gonna be sharing my life living full time in this little 57 square foot truck camper. So I'd love to have you along for that adventure. The only question is, are you down to mob? Mm -hmm.